Hello and welcome to tutorial 153 and what we're going to do in this tutorial is as it were convert a indicator into a function and uh, this is in response to a question I got from a Gold Pass member and what we're going to be using is the tutorial 152 program and uh, or rather tutorial and uh, in that tutorial what we did is we took the advance decline data applied to a daily chart and we uh, we calculated the equivalent values on a 15 minute chart so let's go ahead and create the new program so we're going to call this tutorial 153 and having created that i'm now going to go to the indicator and i'm going to select all and then copy that into the indicator now the first thing that we we need to do is remove the plots because you can't have plots in a function so going to get rid of those going to leave the uh, the comments as they are for the moment and uh, i'll change those later they're not going to affect the working of the program so i've removed the plots oh, the other thing that we need to do with all uh, functions is we need a returning value with the name of the function and uh, we're just going to use a, a dummy value it's going to set that equal to one in other words we're going to be using the uh, the outputs uh, as you'll see or creating outputs as you'll see in a moment so let's go to the input outputs and the outputs that we're going to be making uh, are going to be these values here the cumul the min cumul and the lr slope so i'm just going to cut those and what we're going to do is we're going to put those into as it were the inputs and uh, this is one of the interesting things about functions is you can have outputs in the inputs which sounds uh, sounds crazy but uh, you'll see that's what, the way we do it and then by convention I'm just going to put little O's in front of these so that we know that they're outputs and uh, probably going to just uh, stop the video but I'm going to replace all the uh, cumul av deck in the program with the uh, the version with the O. Okay, so I've gone through and uh, I've changed these three input outputs uh, into the new name with the little O in front of it, and that's just by convention. So let's look at uh, inputs. Now the AV issues is actually a series of data, like for example, uh, close is a series of data or high is a series of data. So we need to tell the program that, and we do that by using uh, the syntax numeric series. So that is a numeric series. The deck issues is a numeric series. And the five is actually a numeric simple. In other words, it's just a, a, a constant value that we input into the function and it doesn't have a, a series of values. Now, in terms of the uh, the outputs, these are numbers and uh, we're going to be um, using them as outputs. We need to set those as numeric ref. Which uh, means that we're going to be passing those values by reference. Now, what I'm going to do is another uh, video which just goes through all the different, uh, well, not all, but most of the uh, the various syntax values that you can use in a function so let's uh, see if that verifies we need to make sure that we uh, get rid of the comma there let's just try that again okay that's look looking good so let me uh, show you the calling program what I've done is uh, created a indicator which calls this program and uh, you'll see that we're putting into it amp issues deck issues and we're defining those up in the inputs and then we've got the uh, five 
which was the uh, the numeric simple that's just set there as a, a, a constant value and then we've got the uh, the return values which the o cumul val o day cumul val and the o slope they're the values we're calculating in the function and then we're going to plot those values apart from we're only going to be uh, plotting two um, if it's a bar type one in other words if it's a minute type bar and this should look exactly the same as the uh, the values that we got from tutorial 152 so let's just try and verify that and uh, go to the chart and uh, you'll see um, let's just check what we've got applied to this chart so this is the daily chart rather the 15 minute chart and uh, you'll see we've got the 152 and the 153 indicator and uh, if we just look at the values here and uh, just eyeballing those values you can see that uh, they do appear to be the same equivalent values between the lines created by an indicator with the function and the lines created with the original indicator that's uh, tutorial 152 and then if we go to the daily you'll see here again that those values uh, appear to be the same okay so hopefully that will be useful to you what I'm going to do as I say is create another quick uh, video which will show you some of the different inputs and outputs that you can use in functions with a, a simple example of doing so. If you're not part of our email list, then please join that and also subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.